Fashion Week. We've all have heard of Fashion Week. They happen every year in different parts of the world. New York, Milan, Paris, London. Once a year, the A-listers of the fashion world gather around to display the newest in collections to a very select group of buyers, media and influencers. Which is why I'm about to tell you the story of how I decided to throw my own fashion show after not being able to get one into a few years ago in Paris. My own fashion show, with my own designers and my own models. First, I'd have to find designers. Someone who is new and promising in fashion. Someone who can push the envelope and barriers set by the industry. But most importantly, someone who is willing to go ahead with this idea. Did you up? Up? Uh, <laughs> So, my name is Amira Ibrahim. I was like, um, it's right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Sadarata. Secondly, models. People who could really stand out in the crowd and get the feeling of what the designers envisioned. Walk with a lot of confidence in themselves and what their outfit represents. But most importantly, location. A place that would attract attention, have its own character and emblematic as its own, rich in history and culture. The London Underground. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The Elizabeth Line at the London Underground. Obviously, we had to go to the Underground to find out what we're dealing with. All the tubes. Oh, this is the most fashionable tube, bro. It's in fashion. It's spotless, actually. It's <laughs> What's 23 and a half? 23 and a half steps. Okay. 23 and a half steps, how much is that in like meters? <laughs> we talked to a few friends who study fashion to set us up with potential designers. Who we met, set up some fittings and talk through the idea of the show. So I've been um, doing fashion for about a couple of years now. If I need something really specific, then I'll go to a charity shop. Uh, yeah, so everything is sustainable. Anything I'd wear nothing underneath. Okay, so you would be comfortable like Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Okay, I love um, it. It's just kind of, yeah, it's just a bunch of old denim that I had that I just decided wow, that's to mad. make into a skirt. So then I thought London's literally perfect. So I've done makeup, I've done styling, I've done photography, all of that leading to this. Well, because I would just have to like oh, take yeah. a stitch out, pull the elastic, yeah, yeah, kind of cut it. through it. Oh, okay. and, uh, <laughs> it's extremely important. <laughs> <laughs> But you're the last model, like, I'm gonna be hyping you up all of the show, like, wait till you see the last model on it. She's professional. <laughs> I, have, I just have to say it out loud, because like, I'm so nervous. Yeah. So, um, and then I was practicing my walk down Happy Century. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. I always kind of was looking for a creative outlet, and uh, so my brand's called Ace of Hearts. So I work a lot with like kind of stretch fabric stuff that like frames the body well, load of materials, and just kind of put everything together and see what looks like. After this, most of the steps in our plan were ready, so we just needed to set up a photo shoot, get everyone together, and tell them the plan. So this is the plan. We asked people to be in Stratford Station, westbound, platform five. What are we doing tomorrow? So tomorrow, fashion show on the tube, 3.30 p.m. Stratford Station, make sure you arrive. There's gonna be sick designers, sick models, and a sick after party, make sure you don't miss it. And there's amazing models and it's gonna take place on the London Underground. Tuesday the 7th of February, between three and four p.m. You have to turn up, it's gonna be the fashion show of the year. Once we're there and the first tube comes, we get in, set up the runway and give people some beverages, thanks to Big Drop, which are actually amazing non-alcoholic beers. Every station after that would have two models waiting on the other side, ready to come in and walk down the red carpet. Two models for each designer. Uh, doors open, and then obviously as we rehearse, models come in, you wait. A few poses, you can just turn around, I'll be hyping you up, I'll be like... If there's like a ridiculous amount of people, it might be nicer for you just to get off the train. Yeah. 
get people to be enjoying it. You bring the vibes, the vibes will stay. Rick's made a banging track, yeah. which we'll play now. Yeah. A music producer, because why not? Get a proper track tailored for a show. My friend Eric, who is an amazing producer, got it done. Thank you, and let's fucking kill it. Come on. One box. Ready? Yeah, remember if someone asks, we're on the way to shit. Yeah, just remember if shit goes wrong, don't stress. Technical issues, I'm sure it'll be sorted out shortly. There we go, there we go, there we go. Cool, cool, take a seat. <laughs> oh, shit. Remember Ed saying everything was sorted? There we go. Well, it wasn't. The speaker completely stopped working and we had no track for the models. Everything was breaking down. Couldn't even tape the carpet to the floor. But the show must go on. This is the London Underground Fashion Show. The first London Underground Fashion Show to be done ever in the Elizabeth Line. Because we're about to see amazing designers, amazing models, and amazing outfits being displayed on this London Underground Fashion Show. Are you ready, people? success and everyone in the tube is so happy it was such a difficult task massively appreciate you can like and share the video with everyone you know and if you want to see what we're pulling off in the next video subscribe i mean we do what we got to do with it it's one of them that sometimes the situation is out of your hands but i mean thank you to everyone that helped in this video yeah let's keep it running right.